Jacqueline is saying they shouldn't have been surprised, but they were. I mean, 19 inches in New York. So they knew something was coming. They didn't yeah. think it would be this bad. Well, this is a really, really strong low pressure system. It's off to the, the northeast right now, but there's more in the wake. We can see here on Storm Tracker 4 radar. But yes, a break now, a lot of snow earlier out there today. Okay, so the northeast looks pretty good now, but you're saying they're going to be hit again. It, as bad or not necessarily? Uh, I don't think it necessarily is bad. I think it'll be some snow showers, maybe about an inch or two, but nothing like what they saw earlier today. Okay, thanks, Jacqueline. And uh, bottom line, it's tapering off now, but it has been a big mess throughout the Northeast. From the air, it looks kind of pretty. This is a snow-covered New York City this morning, everything coated inches thick. But at ground level, you begin to see the problems. Hundreds of flights were delayed and canceled today. At LaGuardia, they got more than a foot of new snow. Airports across the Northeast are still trying to get back up to speed. Traffic has been a nightmare here in the Philadelphia area. A major highway was closed for hours. In Darien, Connecticut, there was a five-mile stretch of stuck cars. In the Washington, D.C. area, the sound of spinning tires, buses and cars not moving. On some roads, you can see abandoned cars. Hundreds of schools are closed all over the region. In many areas, people were being told, stay home unless you absolutely have to go out. Hundreds of thousands of people lost power. And rooftops are collapsing from the weight of snow, including this garage building in Massachusetts. A firefighter says it will happen again. We We've got a lot of snow. We're going to get more. Um, buildings like this don't get shoveled off. And that snowfall in New York, it broke a record, one the mayor isn't happy about. Snow stopped falling at about 4 a.m. The official reading in Central Park was 19 inches. Uh, this is roughly twice the amount of snow that uh, yesterday's evening National Weather Service forecast told us to expect. Some really amazing snow pictures and videos have been posted online. Let's take a look at a couple of the videos. First off, look at this car just sliding down the hill, just out of control, this big suburban. This is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Cars just flying out of control down that icy hill. Camera just keeps rolling as more and more cars just come smashing down the hill into other parked cars, piling up amazingly. No one was seriously injured in any of these accidents. And then the next one, another YouTube video that I found. This video makes me really happy to live in sunny California. You can see people trying to dig out their cars, those little uh, blocks of ice right there, cars underneath, just the snow piled high up on the vehicles, completely encasing them. As you saw that car drove by, they had still at least a foot of snow on top. Pam? Well, the wild weather on the East Coast is affecting travel here in the Bay Area. Joining us now on the phone from SFO, spokesman Mike McCarran. Mike, thanks for joining us. Describe the flight situation right now. Well, right now we're doing better than we were earlier today. Earlier today, just about everything in the Northeast was uh, having problems, and particularly the JFK. But right now, the two airports that are having problems are Newark and uh, Philadelphia, both experiencing delays anywhere from a half hour to two hours. Um, and it's just uh, snow and ice right now is the problem back there. Do you have a percentage on the number or the number of flights that are canceled or, or delayed because of the weather back east? Uh, just, well, anything going in the Northeast has been affected, is either delayed or canceled. We only had a handful of cancellations this morning. Most of the carriers who try to fly the normal schedule are just running them late all day. And that's what they've been doing. They've been getting in, just getting late. That's all. What's expected for tonight and tomorrow morning? Well, hopefully they'll be able to get caught up tonight. And it's going to be dependent upon the weather. If that uh, storm comes in as forecast, uh, we heard earlier, that's going to slow things down, uh, maybe stop things again tomorrow. Of course, we also have the Bay Area fog to contend with. Well, fortunately, we've had no fog the past several days. Uh, if the fog comes in as forecast tomorrow, we could have some arrival delays, but uh, we won't see those formulate until after 9 a.m. when our traffic picks up. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, Mike McCarran, the spokesman for SFO. Thank you. Thanks.